Good morning, this is your friend Velma Hagar. I'm excited today because I have something to share with you that is so profound. It's simple and yet it's complicated. By the way, hidden treasures in secret places. I haven't seen you for a while. <laughs> have you missed me? <laughs> I've been doing those crazy little uh, podcasts. They're easier, you know, I just pick the thing up and start talking. But here I am back. Okay, I want to get on with what I have to share because I, my friend came over this morning and her and I had a beautiful Bible study together and we talked about this and it's, it's amazing. I did a, a podcast on it, so you may have heard this, but I want to go a little more in depth. You know, the other, my mother, when she died, she didn't have a will. She didn't have a lot of stuff, but you know, she had some nice things that she'd accumulated over the years. And she told us, I want all of you to go in the house, the siblings. Now listen to this carefully because there's some instructions here you need to hear. Go in the house and start with the eldest, which is my sister. She gets to pick the first thing in the house that she wants, it's mine. And starting with her car, anything. And, and then go to Velma, the second eldest, and let her pick, and then Bro, and then Sammy. And so, and then we start over after we pick the first time, and then we go back and we do it again. We then again and again until all the stuff is gone. But she also said, if you gave it to me, you take that, it's automatically yours. You get it back. So anything that we gave mother over the years, if we wanted it, we could leave it in with the, in the draw or, or a lottery, so to speak, you know, or we could take it back. So, and if we wanted, if we didn't want something, but one of our kids did, when it was our turn, we could take that and give it to one of our kids. Now, the reason I tell you this story is because, you know, God tells us very clearly that the blessings and the cursings in a family go down even to the 10th generation. So when you've, you know, like, when you have somebody in the family that's an alcoholic, for instance, you know the kids hate the alcoholic parent and yet how many of them become alcoholics? A huge percentage. That's because everything that is your parents, you inherit. Just as you inherit all the physical things in your house, in their house, you know, you get it. When they die, it's yours. And you can do with it what you want you can, you can keep it or you can take it to the dump. If it's old and ugly, you take it to the dump, right? You go through and physically you pick things with your eyes and you say, I'll take that. No, I don't want that. No, I don't want that. Yeah, I'll take that, you know. And listen to this. This is so profound. Just because you don't see something with your eyes, you still inherit it. There's a very real spirit world out there. It's very real. But you know, we live in a world where we look at things with our eyes and we just think if we, you know, we can't see it, it's not there. This is not true. In the spirit, your family and your parents in particular have left you all kinds of things that you should not have in your life. If, if they left you an old, ugly chair and the stuffing was falling out of it, you'd take it to the dump. But in the spirit realm, they leave you that kind of stuff. And you don't take it to the dump because you don't see it with your eyes. Instead, you inherit it and it belongs to you. This is probably one of the strongest teachings I could teach you right now. And many times, you don't take it, but your child does. Okay, so you weren't an alcoholic, but now one of your grandchildren are because we didn't throw it out. We didn't get rid of it. We didn't purposely, intentionally get rid of it. So just as my mother had us go through that house and pick what we wanted, and, and really by the same sense, what we didn't want, we need to do that in the spirit realm. Every single one of us need to do it. Even at my age 76, I need to take a good look at those things in the spirit uh, my mother was a horrible gossip. And honestly, when I stopped and thought about the things in my mother's life that I wouldn't want, that's probably her biggest error. She was snoopy and she was a gossip. 
Other than that, she was an incredible woman. And you know, we all have areas that are weak. I don't, I'm not belittling her for that. I'm simply telling you, this is her weakness. And you know what, doggone it? I love to gossip. I need to get rid of that one. Just like I got rid of all of her ugly clothes I didn't want or her, you know, anything that wasn't, you know, what I didn't want in my life. We need to purposely go through and see what our parents had that we don't want. You've already done it with their physical stuff if they've died, but I'll bet you haven't done it with their spiritual stuff. This is an important message. Everybody should listen to this, everybody. I kind of just got this big revelation, like I've said it before, but I never really heard it like this before. This is important. Doesn't that make sense to you? For your children's sake, that you don't leave these things in the spiritual realm un unchecked? I mean, get rid of it. Now, you say, well, how do I get rid of something spiritual? Well, first of all, you have to be aware that it's there. You have to know that it's there. So that's the first step. What is it when you look at your parents? Uh, you know, my friend said she's going home today. She's going to write it on paper. What do I want? What do I don't want? you know, from my, her parents. You know, she said to me, you know, my mother's so stubborn. I just really, and I said, you know what? And so was your dad. That was there. And so was she, you know, of course, because she inherited it. Okay. Boy, I got it. <laughs> But this is a really good stuff, you guys. Oh, look at Guido. He heard me hit my, he thought I was after something. This is really good stuff. And I want you to grab onto this one like you've never grabbed onto one before. Do this. What is it that your mom and dad had that you don't want? And what is it that they had that you do want? Claim that, claim that, take that thing. I'll have that, but I don't want that. Okay, got it? Ask God to help you remove those things because they can get a, a stranglehold on you, a chokehold. Ask God and call out to him if it's something bizarre. If you've already seen uh, you know, drug addiction or alcohol or something like that uh, come on you, call it out. You, in the name of Jesus, you get off me. I don't receive you. And then you ask God to help you with that. Okay? Buy my book. That book. You know, someone told me the other day, the best books are written when you don't know you're writing a book. And I didn't know I was writing a book. And oh my gosh, every day when I read my message in there, I go, I didn't write that, did I? My gosh, that's so good. And, and it was written as far back as 10 years ago. And you know, I thought, gosh, some of this stuff I don't even remember doing. Buy my book. It's doing better, but it needs to number one bestseller because it's got so much to teach. It's full of treasures. Okay, guys, hidden treasures in secret places. Google it, amazon.com. And until next time, this is your friend, Thelma Hagar, bidding you a blessed day. Make that list.